Hello everyone, this is Vito Z32 back again. This is a tutorial for a trick I just did called Predacon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it was done by Calibus71 and I found it was pretty awesome, pretty simple, so I figured I would do it. I did change it up a teeny bit. Minor little things. For starters, I gave the spectator a selection uh, of four decks instead of just two. All you need is two decks. It's a good idea to let the spectator select which deck they use because you don't want it to seem like you're forcing a deck on them. They might get suspicious that there's something strange about that deck. In this case, they're completely standard decks. Uh, we'll get rid of the jokers and the ad cards, if any. Because you, for the purpose of the trick, I'll, I'll show you in a bit. But anyways, let the spectator select the deck and say the blue one. You can have them shuffle the cards up. It can be completely shuffled. They can examine the cards. There's no setup. We don't need those cards. <laughs> um, like I said, there's no setup. And it's just a normal deck of cards. Two, to be exact. The spectator shuffles the cards. You can do the same thing with your deck while they're doing that. Then what you're going to do is... You're going to spread out the spectator's cards so that you can examine them. Now, for me, I got the benefit that you can't see my face. So, you don't see exactly what I'm looking at. But all I'm looking at is the top five cards. That's it. But you scan through with your hands and make sure they don't see that you're looking at those cards. And when you're doing it, you're obviously going to have to do it quickly and discreetly so that they don't see you staring at you know certain cards. This card is going to be the selection, the fifth card. These four, you're going to add up the totals, so you get 11, 15, 22. That is where you're going to position this card in this deck. So, you look at the cards, but then you're scanning through them to get a reading, to get a prediction. Nine of clubs is what you're going to remember, and then you're going to add up the totals, so 11, 15, 22. Square them up. And then you go through the stack, you're going to find the nine of clubs, there it is, and you're going to add on to that, whatever, 20. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Obviously, and then you just cut this to here and you're done, put it aside. Obviously, you don't want to count out loud or anything like that. It'll make it look obvious that you're counting, counting, you know, three cards at a time, whatever is best. <clears throat> then you're going to have the spectator... Deal down cards. Obviously, once you get to like four cards, you can tell them to stop whenever you want. Make sure you don't tell them to stop after they start dealing because you don't want them to stop after three cards. It won't work. So they stop. We'll put this aside. We're going to take these cards and deal them into four piles. Remember the card that they put the last... Remember this pile that they put the last card in because this is the one you want to put on top of the deck because that's where the selection is. So you're going to take these four cards off the top of each pile. Then you're going to stack them up so that this one with the selection goes on the top of the deck. And you put this right back on here. Then what I did, uh, what he does in his video is he does a simple little cut force where you cut the cards wherever you want. Put it like this. You do some talking, some distracting, then you come back. And voila, this is the selection. What I did was a little thing that I came up with. I took the cards face up and had the spectators stop wherever they want. Or select whatever card they want. Like say this. Eight of diamonds. Then I have them cut the cards wherever they want. They place the eight of diamonds face down. And you complete the cut. And then you put it aside. You forget about it. They're never going to know that you just forced the top card. Uh, let's call that the face up force created by me. So then you go to these cards, you look at the values, you add them up, you're going to get 11, 15, 22. Then you saw the card that they stopped at. The eight of diamonds is sitting on top of the nine of clubs. And you say, wouldn't it be amazing if the 22nd card down in this deck was a nine of clubs? So you found one, two, three, four, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Works every time. Very simple. I did have one other thing I wanted to mention regarding my force. There is <clears throat> another way you could do it. So you got the nine of clubs or whatever on top of the deck. You could theoretically riffle down till they say stop. This will be their card. No, sorry. You could give the cards a cut like this, but they're going to see that five of spades. Riffle down, they say stop. And I figured how I did this. <laughs> okay, I believe uh, you select a card, like the six of diamonds. Give the card the cut. Do the riffle force. When you get to here, we're going to see that five. So what you're going to want to do, I figured what I did. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to do this. You're going to do the riffle force. You know what? I forget what I did exactly. But basically, you have a card selected, if I recall correctly. It's the King of Diamonds. You do this, do the riffle force, they're going to see that this is going to be the same card. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to get a, catch a break underneath here and you're going to steal that to the top. And then you put this five, or this, sorry, this king right here and voila. That's how you do it. So then you spread the cards and you're going to force this right here. But you're going to have that other card here, not the nine of clubs. So what you're going to do is when you spread them out, you put this aside, catch a double, this is the card you landed on, put the double down, we don't need the king anymore, and there's the card you selected. So that's what I was trying to do. So you have a card selected, uh, have a card selected like this, do your standard riffle force, face up, riffle, oh yeah, you're going to catch a break underneath here. Add steel this to the bottom, do a riffle, put the card right here, boom. There's a card. You're gonna do a double lift. There's the nine. You don't need this no more, set it down, done, and you just force that card. That's uh, just a different way, it's a little bit different. I I apologize, I haven't really done it, but I came up with that alternative version. Uh, that is the face up force. I think I just created that. I don't think it's ever been done before. I don't know. I could be wrong. And that is a tutorial to Predacon. My calendar is 71. Make sure to check out this channel. That's what I got. Stay tuned for more reviews. I'll see you next time.